No, I don't waste no time Well, what's going on guys and welcome back to a new video for those of you that are new to the channel my name is joshua daniel george a social media marketing online coach i have my own social media marketing agency called brandpreneur and i also have my own education business where i teach you guys on how to do the same so how to get your first clients how to start your own agency how to get results with that client how to automate the agency scale the agency so that you too can live life on your own terms now for those of you that have been following the channel for a longer period of time you guys will probably not recognize uh, the new like background and the, the new location where i'm in and that is because i have uh, just recently moved uh, place i have now moved to an apartment in the center of amsterdam which i'm uh, very very happy with and this is going to be the new headquarters this is an actual office space in the apartment uh, rather than just having like a, a desk in my bedroom so uh, a slight upgrade there and uh, basically this is going to be the new setup uh, going forward i will sort of get like a youtube backdrop uh, you know i've just basically just quickly set up the camera now it's a bit echoey still as well because most of the apartment is still empty because of the coronavirus you know the couch hasn't even come yet we've only just gotten the chairs for the and the table etc for today so you know the audio quality will improve and like i said the sort of you know the backdrop etc will improve as well i do want to get a bit of a youtube studio vibe going also mess about with the lighting just to increase the quality of the channel uh, as much as i possibly can but anyway that is not what this video is about this video i want to basically discuss high ticket niches why because this is something that I've noticed a lot of people have been asking me. Um, I went live in a Ryan Wegner's group last week. Um, Ryan Wegner's another digital marketer who you probably already know. He's also got a YouTube channel um, and you know he's basically offering uh, various info products on how you can start your own agency as well. And I had the opportunity of going live in his group. And most of the students in his group and you know members of his group as well are mainly focused on the lead generation niche, uh, local lead gen, etc. Why? Because um, I'm rightly so. You know, it's a, quite an easy way to get into SMMA rather than, uh, for example, ecom, where there's a bit more skill and knowledge involved and you know needed in order to get results. So a lot of those members, like I said, we are uh, we're local lead generation clients. I, I can't even speak. Uh, but yeah, local Legion clients and they were asking me, you know, what do we need to do now? Because with Corona, etc., cetera, um, it is getting more and more difficult to get lead generation clients. For example, restaurants, you know, if there's a lockdown or if there's a curfew or anything like that, restaurants are you know, not going to be really open to investing into another opportunity like digital marketing because, you know, they want to keep the cards to the chest. You know, they would rather save money now because times are uncertain, etc. And you know, it takes a certain type of person, obviously, to invest into digital marketing. You know, you do need to have those entrepreneurial tendencies, and you do need to basically see opportunity w w w when it's there, and you know, when it comes, as opposed to someone who is just making ends meet and has you know got all these messages going around about the uncertainty and the lockdown, etc. You know, someone like that will probably not really opt in for something like digital marketing. So the question to me was, you know, what kind of high ticket niches are out there and what do we need to do to sort of pivot to that and, you know, to make sure that our agencies do last and do continue to grow in these uncertain times. And I thought it was a very interesting question. We discussed it in depth uh, and detail in that, um, the, the live session that I had basically. And there's obviously a few, um, there's a few high ticket niches. And with that said, I don't want to beat around the bush here. You know, I've seen a few other videos. We actually discussed this in the, with the in-house team. There's a few videos on YouTube that basically say how to get high ticket clients. And then they just continue to give you a slideshow of what you need to look for in a client, but they don't actually give you a physical example. And uh, we had a good laugh about that. And obviously, you know, this video is going to be much more hands-on. Um, and I do want to give you guys some examples of what kind of clients to look for so that at the end of this video, you've literally got like three or four different types of businesses and different types of niches that you can think about and uh, search for. And the first one that I think is a, a bit of mind, a quick side note, in terms of high ticket, every single niche in the industry does have a high ticket type of client. You just need to look for a client or a um, basically a sub part of that niche that is offering the service for a higher margin. 
For those of you that don't know what high ticket means, uh, high ticket is basically just the same product but with a higher profit margin, usually because the quality is a bit better as well. So for example, the restaurant niche, not necessarily high ticket, but there are luxury restaurants, there are high ticket restaurants where the prices are a bit more expensive, you pay for, you know, you basically pay for the quality, etc. a bit more fine dining, and that is then considered a high ticket restaurant or a high ticket niche. So just take that into consideration that every single niche does have high ticket and low ticket um, businesses, etc., and companies. So the first, again, because now I wanna get more directly, you know, give you guys some direct examples. The first industry that I would look at if I was you is the SaaS and tech uh, industry. So SaaS obviously stands for subscription, uh, service as a subscription. And um, the reason why that, in my opinion, is a very good niche to look into is because there are a lot of high ticket SaaS companies out there, you know, the companies that offer a software, offer a plugin or some kind of service online for extremely high, um, you know, a high retainer. I was speaking to a um, web developer the other day who was actually a friend of Aaron, Aaron Kaiser, who is the Facebook ads expert, who's also got his own YouTube channel. He basically introduced me to a web development company and the owner actually sells the website for 35,000 euros as a base, like sort of startup fee. So for that fee, he will basically build the website and then there's a subscription attached to that with like maintenance. So 35K upfront payment and then it's like 1,500 just to maintain the website uh, every single month. And the reason for that is because he only focuses on the cream of the crop. So only the very big web shops like H&M, like Zara, like Primark, etc. Those are the type of web shops that he builds. So what he has done, he has basically, you know, offered himself in a high ticket manner, which is obviously a high ticket niche. But what we can do for him is we can actually get him leads via Facebook ads. And if we can get him um, another type of client like H&M, like Primark, etc., then, you know, he will offer a high ticket retainer to them, but we can also charge them high ticket for getting them a lead because one lead for him is worth, or basically one client for him is 35,000 euros. So he will happily pay two, three, four, five thousand euros a month to get a lead like that in because like I said, 35K up front and then it's 1500 every single month that that client basically wants his website up and run. So SaaS and tech companies is a basically a niche that I would 100% look at. Okay, and another um, niche or industry that I would look at, again, like I said, a lot of niches and industries will have high ticket clients, but just to basically give you guys some real examples, you know, real life tangible uh, pieces of information that you can go out and use. Uh, like I said, another industry is the interior architecture agencies or firms, whatever you want to call them. Why? Because like I said, you know, these people will basically renovate an entire office space or, you know, an entire apartment for someone, you know, for a base fee. And usually there's an extremely large profit margin attached to it. I was speaking to an interior architecture company uh, the other day. And basically what they do is they cater to, um, um, for example, celebrities that want to purchase an apartment in and around Amsterdam. So for example, Justin Bieber was one of the sort of customers. And basically what they will do is they will purchase all of the items. They will basically design the entire apartment and just charge 10% of the total costs. So let's say for example, he uh, Justin Bieber purchases an apartment in Amsterdam for 10 million. And um, basically they can do all of the interior design or they can uh, basically decide what couch he is going to have, what telly is going to be on the wall, etc. Um, and then the bill for everything they've purchased is, let's say, one million. They'll take and they'll add an additional ten percent onto that, and basically, you know, charge him that ten percent. And that ten percent is basically, you know, uh, what they will take home at the end of the day. And ten percent doesn't sound like a lot, but like I said, because they work with high ticket customers like celebrities, like uh, hip hop artists and, you know, basically big Hollywood um, figures, you know, 10% is quite a lot if it's 10% of a large number. So interior architecture firms are another um, extremely high ticket niche to look at. Then we've already discussed it uh, when I mentioned restaurants and then there's also like luxury restaurants. Just the luxury part of every single industry or niche, for example, luxury car dealerships. Um, I was in contact with a car dealership in the Netherlands, uh, funny enough, uh, a while back, and they only have like supercars, right? Like they only do 
uh, Aston Martins, uh, McLarens, you know, uh, what else do they have, Lamborghinis, etc. So they only focus on those type of cars and that is what they basically buy and sell. And profit margin, again, for them is extremely large because the cars are very expensive and there's only a certain type of person that actually purchases a car like that and he can actually afford to pay a little bit over the odds just for the service, etc. And what I think they also offer where um, basically you know, another service where they wrap the car as well in like a special color or a special design and you know like i said a same type of person can afford that and is you know more than happy to pay over the odds just for the service and just for the quality of it so high-end car dealers as well as high-end gyms you know people that only cater to like i said celebrities or people that um, or gyms that are only available in like the centers of uh, cities for example um, i think there's a few uh, gyms here in Amsterdam that are over 100 a month uh, just for the basic gym and people will happily pay that because it's in the center you know people in the center of big cities usually have you know more money to spend anyway they're a bit more affluent so you know people like that are more than happy to pay 100 a month if they can have a you know or if there's a, a, a gym in the center that they can easily go to uh, what else we've got high-end restaurants I just want to quickly interrupt this video and basically mention to you guys that I have a free social media market marketing course and you can literally download this course if you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. So basically what I've done is I have created a custom audience with Google Ads. Uh, for those of you that are subscribed to my channel and you guys will see a pre-roll advertisement on one of my videos where I basically give you the direct link to download this course. So it's an unpublished link on Teachable which you will only see if you are subscribed to my channel. So if you want a free social media marketing course, all you need to do is subscribe to my channel and then you will see my advertisements. So without further ado, let's hop back into the video. High-end realtors, for example, is another good one. Um, people that wanna buy um, expensive houses or large houses in the big cities, London, um, like I said, Amsterdam, New York, etc. The high-end part, like the cream of the crop of the sort of standard industries and niches that we look at. Then there's another industry that I don't actually see anyone talking about, and that is data centers. So of course, you know, with social media, with the amount of storage that there is in the cloud, the amount of people that are online every single day, data centers are getting built absolutely everywhere. There's a lot in the Netherlands, there's a lot in, for example, Denmark and the Scandinavian countries because the climate is really good, you know, for these data centers. So of course, you know, if you're going to build a data center in Palo Alto or, uh, you know, somewhere in San Francisco or California, you know, wherever all these big giant uh, tech companies are, the, it's much too, you know, it's too humid, it's too hot, um, you know, you can't just build a day center in the desert because it'll probably cost more to keep it cool, you know, to, to basically, the, the, the cost of keeping those data centers cool will severely, you know, outnumber the cost of actually building a data center in itself. So what they do is they come over to Europe, to like I said, the Scandinavian countries, the Netherlands, Ireland, the UK, and build the data centers there. And these companies have got so much money because like I said, these companies are built by Facebook, by Google, by Amazon, by Microsoft even as well. So these companies have money to burn because they are backed by these giant tech companies. And if you can help them get more clients in or maybe even help them recruit more people to build these data centers, again, that is another extremely profitable and extremely high ticket niche. And then lastly, to wrap it up, because this is almost a 15 minute video here, um, high ticket coaches and consultants, you know, people that have info products, if they have a product that is a thousand a month and they have some kind of webinar funnel attached to it and you can run ads to them, like I said, one sale for them is already a thousand. And because it's an info product, it's pure profit for them because there's no import costs, no cost of shipping or anything like that because it's an info product. So it's it's information, right? It's getting sent directly to the email or you know however they, they set it up. Maybe they've got some kind of portal online that they can log into and create an account for. So it's pure profit. And like I said, you know, if, if it is high ticket, then those people will have an extremely high profit margin of 100%. And one customer is, like I said, it's a thousand for them. So if you can get them, let's say 10 sales a month, which is very, very doable, especially, you know, if uh, they have the webinar, et cetera, set up, then you can easily charge two, three, four thousand a month for that. And the great thing about that is as soon as something like that is profitable on a small scale, you can then scale it up because you don't need to take into consideration 
um, like I said, cost of shipping, etc. You know, if it's profitable on a small scale, so let's say one euro or dollar in is 10 euros out, then you can start scaling that and start spending 100 euros, 1,000 euros a day or a month and then seeing, you know, how much you can scale that up, you know, without basically losing too much of that profit margin. But if you can consistently get a, a positive ROAS of above one with an info product, then that's your pure profit for that client. So those are my sort of high ticket examples, high ticket niches, high ticket industries, whatever way you want to call them, um, especially in these uncertain times. If you are focused on local lead gen, it might be a good idea to just take that into consideration when moving forward. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you got something out of it. Leave a comment down below if you have another high ticket niche or industry that I have not mentioned in this video. But for now, I'm going to wrap this up here. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.